Research and Innovation Initiative Gathering Conference was held in Dibrugarh today. Delegates from G20 member countries, guest countries and international organizations as well as the scientific community gathered to discuss and explore ways to build a sustainable and circular bioeconomy. A total of 103 participants with 56 foreign delegates from 26 countries were present at the conference. Led by Dr. S. Chandrasekhar, Secretary, Department of Science and Technology, the conference aimed to bring together key factors responsible for planning, setting up new programs and managing the existing programs related to agriculture, decarbonization of industry, bioenergy and bioresource management. Dr. S. Chandrasekhar emphasized that the G20-RIIG conclave is dedicated to promoting a sustainable future by educating the public on the importance of zero waste management and the goal of this gathering was to frame the conversation beautifully and inspire people to take action towards reducing waste and preserving our planet. Meanwhile, Dr. Rajesh S. Gokhale Speak Secretary of the Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology stated that the aim of the conference was to bring together key actors responsible for planning, setting up new programs and managing existing programs related to agriculture, decarbonization of industry, bioenergy and biosource management. The interactive event was to facilitate active engagement amongst all key stakeholders, including people, policies and places. This was done to promote an inclusive policy-making approach that provides a conceptual framework to mainstream circular bioeconomy models across different sectors. The conference today was divided into four sessions, which included agriculture, challenges and opportunities, industry towards decarbonization, bioenergy and bioresource management. So today we had uh, deliberations and all countries of G20 nations who participated have given their thoughts and how those countries are currently aspiring to be net zero. We want that carbon net zero, how they want to achieve. So it's basically learning from each other. It is not that one country is better or other country is not better. So all countries have shared how they are making the policies, what technologies they are developing and how we should work together as one world. And as the G20 statement of Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji says, we are part of one planet, one earth. So we are all one family and all of us need to work together to see that the sustainability happens. So when we look at the bioeconomy and uh, circular economy, we all know that nature gives you certain resources which are always can be regrown. So the way we are doing bioethanol, or we call it uh, the next generation uh, ethanol. Similarly, we are talking how we can make sustainable agriculture without using too many pesticides. So these are some of the deliberations we have done today. And I'm sure more and more discussions will happen across the G20 countries to see that we have a sustainable planet. So may I request Rajesh if you want to make any comments? I think the Secretary Department of Science and Technology has already given a perspective to it. The whole idea of bioeconomy is both to understand the challenges and opportunities actually. Because in every phase sector, science has tremendous amount of opportunities for making your life better, making <coughs> more sustainable, making more creative, making more helpful. And the whole concept of agrarian economy that used to be happened, so that agriculture used to be the major economy factor and it used to run through various sectors, is now through industrial revolution, through various other transportation, oil economy, has moved into a completely new dimension. And the future of industrial revolution is likely to be around the bioeconomy model of circular economy, where you would not use and throw away things, whereas you would try to reuse them, reutilize them, make best value out of them, and therefore create a better future such that you, know, you, don't, you don't make unnecessary wastage of material. The G20 conference held for the first time in Dibrugarh, particularly on the topic of circular on bioeconomy, ended successfully in Dibrugarh at the Monohari Tea State with lot of promises and hope to see a new world, particularly in the bioeconomy sector and also in production of renewable energy resources for the future to make a better world to live in. With camera person Pranip, this is Ripunjay Das reporting from Dibrugarh for Northeast Life.